Hey guys, it's Michael from Promac. I'm here at Moe's Tackle with the uh, with the guys. They've just uh, introduced a new Tormac uh, bushcraft into the store. So uh, we're going to show you how to sharpen a knife. So I've got the SVM45 uh, knife jig, and we're going to sharpen the knife here. So all we need to do is put our put our knife jig onto the uh, onto the spine of the knife. We're going to be running the uh, the jig uh, parallel to the edge of the knife, but just have the uh, the center of the tip at the apex of the uh, of the of the knife as such. Just need to pinch and finger tighten. We're going to be setting our edge at 20 degrees. So it'll give us a nice sharp edge uh, with, with great durability. S set our angle at 20 degrees on the Angle Master. We've got our stone diameter at uh, just under 200 uh, millimeters. Then we're gonna put the gauge onto the knife, onto the wheel to set our angle. We've got a lot of daylight between the knife and the Angle Master. What we wanna do is have that, have that daylight disappear. And we're gonna do that by reducing the height of the support bar. So once we're once we've got our jig in position and our angle set, just finger tighten the uh, finger tighten the support bar, and we're right to go. So what we've got the Tormac, because it's a new knife and I haven't sharpened it before, I'm going to use the stone grater here to take the wheel to 220 grit. By using the stone grater, we're just going to rough the wheel, and from roughing the wheel, we're just uh, roughing up the ceramic particles on the wheel. This will help speed up the process on the, uh, on the shaping of the knife, and it'll help speed up the process if you've got any nicks or chips or dints that you need to remove from the, from the knife. We want to keep the jig parallel to, uh, firmly against the support bar, and when we come to the tip, we're going to be leveraging the knife up to make sure that we're going to keep our edge nice and symmetrical on the tip. We want to keep working until we start creating a burr along the edge of the knife. So we're not quite there yet. Now you don't need to apply a lot of pressure to the wheel. As long as the knife meets the wheel, you'll be able to create the, uh, create the edge. All right, now that we've created a burr on the, on the first edge, what we want to do is flip it over and we're going to uh, repeat the process on the, on the secondary side. We're going to make sure that visually both sides are symmetrical. So the Tormax from Sweden, it comes with a seven year manufacturer's warranty. Tormac have been making sharpening systems for nearly 50 years, and we've been in the, distributing them in Australia for, for nearly, 40, uh, nearly 45 years. Now that we've created our edge on, a, on the 220 grit, and it's nice and symmetrical, I'm gonna take the, take the wheel from 220 to 1000 grit. By using the stone grater, we're going to use a smooth side and we're going to polish up the ceramic particles on the wheel to take the wheel to the thousand grit. When we started, we used the rough side of the stone to, to rough up the uh, ceramic particles to make it a 220 grit. During the, during the shaping process, the 220 grit is a faster process. During the sharpening process, the thousand grit is, is preferable. Because we're, once we're finished with the thousand grit, we're going to be taking the, the, uh, this knife over to the leather strop. So when you touch the wheel, you'll feel the wheel is, is, uh, is considerably different from the, from the first 220 to the, to the thousand grit. And you'll also hear that the wheel is not as aggressive on the, on the edge of the knife. You will only ever need to do the shaping process once on your knives. Once you've created the correct shape on the first sharpen, you'll only ever have to do the sharpening process. So the process will be a lot faster on, the, on, the, on your uh, second sharpen. It may ever take you uh, two or three passes to, to recreate your edge. Now that we've uh, done a couple of passes at the thousand grit, we've got a nice symmetrical edge from tip to toe on both sides. I'm just gonna do one pass here just to loosen the burr before I take it over to the leather strop. With the leather honing strop, we've got the Tormac honing paste, which is around about a 3000 grit uh, uh, paste. This will just help deburr the knife. You'd rather take the you'd rather take the burrs off on the leather strop than in your food. Once again, you'll only have to apply, uh, apply the honing paste every every ten or so every ten or so sharpens. We're going to be working off the top of the leather strop here, 
because it's going to be the flattest part of the wheel. And we're just going to tilt the knife until you see the little honing paste kicking up over the edge. Just wipe the, just feel the edge of the knife to ensure you've removed all the burrs. And that is your finished knife.